The Consortium on Democracy and Disinformation blasts the verdict against Rattler CEO Maria Ressa and former researcher writer Reynaldo Santos Jr. DND says the decision was quote unquote uncomprehending because the language of the decision proved that the court failed to understand how journalism works and what its role in a democratic setting is. DND says Judge Reynelda Estacio Montesa found only those passages that emphasize the responsibilities of the press, but not the fundamental importance of a free press in the functioning of a democratic society. She also helped turn the rule of law into a weapon and puts every single social media user in peril. Likewise, the Integrated Bar of the Philippines questions the maximum six-year jail sentence for Reza and Santos, pointing out that the Supreme Court earlier nudged courts to impose only fines for libel. IBP National President Domingo Egon Cayosa says the Honorable Judge seems not to have applied the guidance of the Supreme Court. Meantime, the Concerned Lawyers for Civil Liberties, or CLCL, points out cyber libel prescribes only in one year, not 12 years, as the Montesa court ruled in Reza and Santos's case. Far Eastern University Law Dean Mel Santa Maria earlier said ordinary libel's one-year prescription period should be the same with cyber libel. Santa Maria says because cyber libel merely affirms an existing law, it does not create a new law. Opposition lawmaker and human rights lawyer Ed Lagman says Montesa should have followed the principle of no penalty without a law. Sister Mary John Mananzan, an outspoken human rights advocate, says she is ashamed Judge Montesa studied in Catholic institution St. Scholastica's College. She adds, I am sad that she did not learn the values of a Scholastican education. Whatever successes you may have attained, I am afraid you are a failure as a Scholastican. The activist nun also says the only consolation is that Maria Ressa is also a Scholastican. Meanwhile, international news groups continue to cry foul on the verdict. International Center for Journalists, or ICFJ, calls June 15 a devastating day for journalism and the verdict a miscarriage of justice. The Index on Censorship in English Pen condemns the court's decision, saying it is part of a campaign to silence dissenting voices in the Philippines. The Committee to Protect Journalists says Reza and Santos' conviction and sentence is an outrageous crime against press freedom. Meantime, the internationally acclaimed Washington Post in an editorial calls on the United States government to show much greater resistance against the guilty verdict. The Post calls Reza's conviction a slide towards autocracy under President Rodrigo Duterte. And lastly, Judge Montesa's peers, lawyers, and judges of the International Commission of Jurists, or ICJ, calls on the Philippines to reform its laws and remove the possibility of criminal sanction for defamation and libel offenses. The ICJ recalls imprisonment for such offenses is never permissible under the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, to which the Philippines is a party. The ICJ says the verdict is part of a pattern of attacks upon the press by the Duterte government.